Hey friends, today I'm going to be uh, assembling this uh, Bayside Furnishings uh, table. Came with uh, six chairs and uh, yeah, so we're just going to be setting up this table here. I already cut the sides off, so got a lot of tape holding this thing down. Um, the tape was around the bottom, so it was not the easiest thing to cut off. I just kind of ran this along the bottom, but um, you could lift it up a little bit. It wasn't very convenient. Anyways, um, get this off the side there. Okay, pretty good packaging here, as you can see. It's got all these stuff. Lots of protection, stuff doesn't move around during shipping. Okay, so we got this. Parts inside of here. So everything's taped up real good. Make sure you got like some kind of a something to open that with. I just got this razor one and this has got a little bit of a kind of a protection guard on there so it doesn't mess up your stuff. So you don't want to be cutting into your uh, items there. So everything looks to be um, packaged quite nicely here. All right. Some stuff there. Oh boy, that, that just bent. Uh, hopefully that's not too, uh, anything that we don't need. That was weird. Seems rather flimsy. Okay. Now cut everything. Okay, because we got two pieces. That's why. Top. This is the top. Okay. Put that off the side. Okay. So we have some hardware here. Everything's got the little like red tags on them for where the parts are, so you don't just throw it away as like packaging. So that's cool. There's a lot of just safety stuff here to keep your products from getting damaged. Yeah. Get off of there. Okay. More stuff. This should be a, a fun one. A lot of pieces here. Okay, we got like the main top part here, looks like. Okay, instructions, parts inside here as well. This looks similar to the other one. Okay. All right. What we got here? Parts inside. Everything's got like a big, like red tag there, so you know there's parts in there. That's kind of nice. Okay, so we got some. Uh, Heavy duty metal pieces there. Looks like they got little numbers or letters on them too, so we can see. Get away. Okay. Okay, so there's a storage leaf. All right, big, big red tag here. These are your instructions. The bright orange thingamabobber here in 50 different languages. Good parts list. Uh, so it's pretty much we're just going to take this tabletop out. Um, okay. Now this is not the lightest thing in the world. So if you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it, you know. <laughs> But I think we're okay to just uh, lift this thing up. Okay. 
Okay. Appears to be all right. Just gonna leave this on there, kind of. I wonder if there's multiple. That's kind of heavy. What can I grab onto here that I'm not gonna rip that off of there? Yeah, let's see here. There's a little bit more grip that I can. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to lean this up against the couch here. Keep that little protective cover. It's hard to get a grip with this uh, plastic on there. It's a little slippery. So there we go. That probably only weighs, I don't know, 70, 80 pounds-ish. Pretty solid chunk of metal there, or wood. Okay, this box is pretty heavy. Get this out of the way here. And there we are. Well, it's even got like wood in here. Hey, we can use that, that's kind of nice. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see here. Let's uh, let's uh, commence to begin, shall we? That was the okay. Uh, important. Retain for future. Product is for indoor domestic use. Do not fully tighten all the bolts until finishing assembly all parts. When some go back and fully tighten all the bolts, strongly recommend at least two dolts assemble this unit. Yeah. When assembling the unit, it should be turned upside down. Okay. So we can just leave this upside down, I guess. So maybe I'll just gently uh, set it down. Okay. All right, so, so they recommend that it's down when we're assembling this. So there we go. Please remove before. It's got a little wood thing on there. Yeah, what is this little one here? We got a, okay. Got this here, and then we got this right here. So this leaf like kind of comes out, holds up automatically there. Tells you how to do it, I guess, so that's cool. Has some instructions. Unlock, slide those out, that flips up, flips down. Okay, how do we get this out of there? That was the main thing. I guess I can just kind of, it's pretty, pretty solid here. I think I can rest on that and just kind of pull that out of there, I guess, like that. Okay, please remove before use. I imagine you got these little wooden things that are uh, screwed in right here. Just kind of hold it together when it's in transport. All right, I think we are ready to go here. And uh, when assembling the unit, it should be turned upside down, uh, probably turn upright, assemble the unit on a carpeted floor or on the empty carton. So we got a carpet, we're good there. Part list, D1. Maybe I should take the parts out here. These should be all labeled nicely. Pretty solid. Uh, chunks of metal here. We have Echo or E. Hi, Boogie. We got Boogie coming to watch the assembly. Hi. Right. How are you doing? And here is F. And we go. Nice looking stuff there. Looks pretty solid. 
see what Boogie thinks about it. What do you think, bud? What do you think? You like it? Okay. We got this right here. This is an H. And we got the top. We got a G. And another G. Hi. Hi, baby. And another G. Okay. And then we have another E. And probably another F here. And that is correct. So not a lot of pieces. My bogey. There we go. Okay, a lot of packaging here. So, there we go. Oh, what the? That one has sticky on it. Oh, my goodness. Stuck right to my floor there. There we go, okay. All right, that doesn't look too, too horribly complicated. Let's just, uh, Let's finish this up, shall we? Did it actually come with any tools or do I need my own tools? So we have a, looks like you have an Allen key here. So I guess that'll work. Okay. There's those, yes. What is this pen for? I'm not sure what this pen is for exactly. Wrench. Uh, hex wrench. What is that? Anyways, remove those assembly instructions. Once assembled, go back and fully tighten all the bolts. These are for shipping purposes only, but of course, we need a uh, we need a Phillips head screwdriver, so I'll go get that. All right, got ourselves a screwdriver. So I'm gonna take out this one here. And that's just this little piece of wood there on both sides. Okay, so take those out, and now we can begin the assembly. So we have H, there's H is this one here, I believe. That is correcto mundo. So we're gonna put these metal brackets into H using the EE, which we have six of the EE. <sighs> Try to open up that little spot there. Mm -hmm. You have these little perforated lines there, but it's like not making it easy. I mean, how are we supposed to get into there? Good golly. It's a. Uh... Okay. I mean, there we go. Okay. Those little guys come on out. Two, four, six. So we got these. I don't think it matters which way you put these on here. Slip it on over the end. And it should have the three screw holes lined up. And so we just screw those in. If you have a impact driver, you could probably save yourself some time here. These aren't too horrible though. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay, why is that one giving me some trouble? <clears throat> Looks like that one was going in at a different angle there. Didn't really like that. Should go in straight. And it doesn't want to, of course. Okay, I think we can tighten these down before we uh, move on. Okay, and then we have the other three. Just screw that onto this end here. Takes a little bit of pressure. The impact driver would definitely speed up your uh, assembly process here. I mean, who uses a screwdriver anymore? Yep, okay. There's that. There's that. Hmm, 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 hmm. There's that. Okay, just in case we couldn't see that, there's just the metal bracket there, right on there like that. Okay, we'll set that off to the side. And uh, now we got E and F. And E and F. Okay. So, Dun, dun, dun. Here's F. And E. So these are going to go... Um, you basically want the little pads to be down at the same area. So we're just going to go like that. Okay, and... Those are going to be assembled like this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so now these screw into that, and we're going to use. Uh, the BB screws with uh, washers and a lock nut on there. Okay. So we get out our BB CCDD. So it has this for the steps here. Step three. So that's cool. So step one or whatever was that one. Step one is to get it out. Step two. So each step has just the things that you need. So this is quite like a Lego set here. I guess I just pop these out. So step three, um, just screw these into there. With this. Going on there like uh, this. Alright, so... I'm just going to try to hand tighten these. It should. Should just go on there. Um, put on flat ground here. And you should just be able to, once you get them in there. I don't like how that's not. Okay, once it's lined up, it should get this one on there. 
and it should just be able to uh, go in nice and smooth. If I'm wanting to say you should feel a hot. It should be a hand tightenable here. Yeah, so this one I can just screw in with my hands. Looks like it should be. I don't want to. This one's like. Uh, you literally should just be able to, because it's. You should just be able to screw it down with your hands. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if it's if it's binding up and you can't screw with your hands, then just kind of back it out, work it around a little bit until it goes into the hole there. I guess I'll get out my Allen wrench here. Whatever this is. <sighs> so that's a scratch remover, I guess. So with this, it says just don't, you don't want it super tight right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of have it there. So it's kind of in there, but not all the way, okay. So there's our first one. And obviously, uh, that was step three. So, yeah, step four, just pop these out. So, this is basically like a super easy big Lego set. I'm just gonna move these around over to here. What you wanna do is make sure that your screw holes on these are up on when you assemble uh, these guys. So, that your bottom little parts here are together too. So make sure, like the ones that have the little sliders, you move those facing the same direction and your screw holes are going to be up as well. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna have to flip this around. There we go. So there's our screw holes are up, forming the X like that. Okay, so we just lift this up now, and I'm just going to work one in a little bit so I can lift that up. So they do recommend like two people for this, but I do most of the stuff myself, so I think we got this. So now we can just kind of gently get that in a few turns with our hand, and then snug this one up a little bit check out where we're at on the, the hole there. Looking pretty good. And the same thing with that. Should just be able to hand tighten it quite a bit of the way. Okay. And where did my Allen key go? Oh, there it is. So once again, we're not like going super tight on this. All right. And when you're turning this, just make sure that you're not gonna scratch the, the wood there when the Allen key goes by. If that makes sense, you don't wanna like when you're turning it, it's close to the wood, so make sure that this part doesn't scrape the wood if you care about that. Okay. Now we have this part assembled here. It's going to be interesting how to get on those other screws. So that's on, and we're going on to step five. Oh, I see. So we have those two there and there. So the G's top. Okay, top, is that gonna mean top is, this is the top part of the bottom or top part of the, it's complicated. Okay, so this says top here like this. So we're gonna put these on here. Like that. I was wondering how they're gonna attach it on there. So just want the top part up. Step five is step five right here. We just pop these out. Oh, 
We were doing so good. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Once again, we just line up our holes. Sometimes I find it easier just to like, um, if you don't, instead of just moving around here looking for it, just get, get a look through the hole and just lower the hole onto the other hole there basically. And once again, I'm just going to hand tighten these. Get those holes lined up a little bit. Okay, so this is quite a bit, up quite a bit more than that one, so. Okay, so that one, really gonna have to kind of move these up a little bit to get the holes up lined up, so I'm gonna back off just a hair on these. That should give me a little bit more wiggle room because these ones looks like it's wanting me to pull this part up a little bit to really oh my goodness it doesn't really want to doesn't really want to line those up does it okay I'll back these off a little more okay it's a little better Yeah, that's a... I'm gonna back these out a little bit more too. It's not giving me a lot of uh, room here, so. The screw hole it's like right it's right over that so it's like, uh, seems like it's almost off a little bit it's right at the edge there so I don't really Okay, that's why they said don't tighten it yet. And I'm just hand tightening these. That one's too, it's pulling on that one, so. Yeah, the outer ones are a little bit of an issue there. Okay, so I'll get my other one on here. See if we have the same, the same deal going on or not. Just lift this up, lower the hole on there so I can see it. Okay, it lines up good there. And it looks like we have a similar, similar deal here. Where's my hole? So quite a bit needs to be bent. Yeah, that's interesting. It's a quite a bit that they, you have to bend this. To get it to go in there so the holes so I'm just kind of holding here pushing up on this one or pulling it towards me either way to get it to go in there because the holes are yeah, it's... That works pretty good. So I'm putting my knee here and pulling, and that's giving us a little bit more leverage so we can get it on point there. I want to say that once I have this on there, I can tighten it up. Because these ones, um, 
you won't be able to tighten them once we screw those in. So I'm gonna call these good if I can find my Allen key again. I'm gonna just tighten these down. And remember we're going into wood here, so I think they have a metal part in there too, established, but um, you don't want to do like super over tight, just kind of kind of put a kind of read it so it's like you know you're not reefing on it remember these these are there's metal things screwed into the wood so you should be able to like turn that and your just kind of so your lock part goes on there if you hear like wood starting to split, like type sound, you obviously you want to back off a little bit, not do crazy tight. The lock collar should kind of go down there. There we are. So a couple of these, the lock collar is is up a little bit for some reason. I don't want to go down. Yeah, it's like up on it. And that's like forcing that down at an angle. I don't like that. Huh. So the lock collar is over at the top like this, instead of like this, being like this and going straight down. That's the second one that was like that. Because the lock hauler should have enough space for it to go down. And that one's up on top of the other one as well. So three of my lock haulers are over the other one. And it looks like this one's gonna do the same thing. That's not really cool. Lock hauler should be Yeah. See, it's not even, I don't like that. So the lock collar is supposed to be pretty much like this. And when you screw it down, that goes down like that. So it puts some tension on it so it doesn't unscrew. These ones are overlapping. So when I'm screwing down, it's going like that and it's creating an angle on the wood there. So about half of them were too far over I don't like that. I'll show you guys what I mean. I might just have to pull these out. It's already made a divot in the wood like the wrong way. So I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about. So that's instead of this one being out a little bit, and that should just drop down. Um, instead, that's just on top of it. So it's putting it down at an angle when I'm screwing it in instead of flat. So I'll see if I can fix that. All right, well, on second thought, I thought it just maybe it wasn't worth it to try to mess with those. Um, I could take it out to the vise and kind of cut it and do a bunch of stuff, but um, this is like the bottom portion, so I'm hoping that it's not going to be a problem. Just little disappointed in that. That should be something that's, um, should really have to deal with, if that makes sense. I mean, how hard is it to make a lock collar, right? Okay. All right. We have that and that now. Okay, and now it says to flip that over and then put those in there to the only spot we can. And that's step six, so we'll pop out step six. That's kind of cool. And let me check out these lock washers as well. That one looks all right. Yeah, they're just... Might have the same issue there. Okay, so now 
we made sure that these are all nice and tight there. These are still loose down here. I'm gonna flip it over and put it on there. So it should be no problem here. Should just be able to hold it with this. Okay, and now I'm gonna just set those on there. Alright, which one am I missing here? That one. So once again, you want it loose because if you tighten these up all the way before and then it doesn't fit when you're getting these screws on there, you're going to have to untighten everything. So these, we're just going to get our holes lined up and then hand tighten about half the way in. That way you can make sure all your screws are going to fit okay. And this will give you a lot of uh, room to be able to adjust it if you need to. Okay, there's two. There's three and four. And we'll get the other two on these ones here. Okay. Now that those are in, I can hand tighten these all the way down as tight as I can get them with my hands and then we'll just finish it off with the Allen key. Okay. Wherever my Allen key went. Okay, there it is. Man, it's almost like this Allen key doesn't really fit in here very well. Okay, there's one. Make sure it's in there good. Just feels like a little, uh, a little bit loose there. Okay. Those can be nice and snug. Oh, my baby. Woo! Okay, in comes the inspector. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Hi. All right, so we'll tighten these up. What do you think, Boog? All right. So obviously you want to use the long handle portion to Make it nice and snug. <laughs> what are you doing, babe? Just playing with the packaging. Dun -dun. So you can use the short handle to tighten it as much as you can, and then use the long handle to get it snugged up there. All right. What do you think, Bug? Yeah, good curly. Okay. And once again, this is in wood too, so just kind of 
just kind of read your stuff if it's like making cracking noises or whatever you know don't want to break the wood so just remember you're not working with metal and like a torque wrench or something you know so yeah it's like popping huh my allen key's like bending already on the other end that's not really cool it feels like this allen key is like instead of metric it's like the other one or whatever so it's just a little bit not as snug as i think it should be but anyways okay those are pretty good and now i can tighten these down and we'll see if my uh this one down once again you could use an impact driver but just be careful with the amount of force you're putting on this going to be fairly snug because of the uh, this is the metal portion out here and okay here we go and get one more little turn on this one there we go not a big fan not a big fan of allen keys honestly um, bolts I think are a lot better, a lot less chance of messing that up. Oh baby. He's such a go carry. Supervises everybody. And he's so curious. He's so curious. So yeah, I don't know why everyone went to like these Allen keys things with their furniture. If you had a bolt head on there. It's just so much more tor torque you can put on it and it's a lot easier to work with than these things. So, he's our best baby ever. All right. Okay, got one more to go and These should be, make sure you get your, uh, in there, get your Allen key lined up in there straight and pushed in all the way before you try to put some torque on it. You might have to wiggle it back and forth a little bit. But if you don't, you can strip your Allen key and or, and or your bolt and that's making some turning noises there. Okay. So, I like to just kind of get it in there. Another thing I like to do is, instead of just pushing down, I like to kind of hold it a little bit. So I'll kind of put it in there, wheel a little bit, make sure you get in all the way. And instead of just reefing up here, I'll kind of support it down here a little bit too. So it's straight or whatever okay that's actually 
pretty solid feeling there. I think we're pretty much done. I'm just going to go over on these. Just make sure we can get another little turn there. Sure. That seems pretty solid, actually. Make sure these are good. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Now you can kind of pretty solid. Uh, it's pretty solid there. So these ones you can screw in a little bit if you want. Make sure. And you can also unscrew these. If they're a little uh, loose or whatever, you can adjust it. Okay, so now we can flip this up. Good baby. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, there's that. And we should just be able to flip this up the rest of the way here. Just like that. Actually quite nice. Um, we do have a few lines here, so we might put a glass on top of this. That's rather a nice uh, table there, so you can see. Okay, so I just flipped the little, a little uh, lever here on the bottom and it's like spring-loaded. So it can rotate one way, you just undo it the other way and it undoes on both sides there. And then you just kind of pull this apart like that. Alrighty. Now, oh, it's backwards there. So that comes out. Unlock and open, full table leaves, store table leaves. Close and lock, okay. So. Just gonna lift that up. Just like that. It's nice and smooth there. Is that lock into place anywhere? Um, dun, 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 dun. Looks like it has the, the lockings on these two. Okay, so when you line these up, that was pretty easy. You just kind of push these together. Make sure all the little things are going in the holes. Just like that. Go around the other side. Push it together. I think if you get a little, of a little bit of a scratch there, huh? Okay. Push those together. Okay. It's pretty good. And then it has little latches. So we just rotate the latches. Okay. should kind of pull them together too so that latch rotates around rotate around and then lock it into place it's a clever design there so the latch uh, rotate the latch first and then push the little lever portion and that really cranks it down so you can just reach under here rotate that and then rotate that. Uh, it really pulls it together, that's nice. Okay, rotate that, and then rotate the little upper latch part so it's facing you. There we go. So, 
looks pretty elegant. Um, it does have a few like kind of a divots here. So if you are cleaning, it's gonna have some, maybe some stuff's gonna be able to get caught in there. We're gonna probably put a glass top on this. Some kind of a, some kind of cover on there. But all in all, it looks pretty nice. Uh, it does come with uh, six chairs as well. So, put these under there. Just like that, or if you want, uh, probably hold eight chairs around this quite nicely. Um, if you want to expand out, it's 80 inches. Just got plenty of room under there. Uh, feels quite, quite stable actually. You can see it's not moving around a lot at all, so that's good. And there you have it. So, not too difficult of an installation. Here we go. The chairs have some nice uh, padding on there. I'll have like little uh, plastic, uh, um, what are those called? Gliders or whatever on the bottom so they go pretty smooth on the, on the concrete floors that we have. So I think it looks pretty nice. A good size too. So like if you can, um, if you need more room, you can expand it out. If you have more people coming over or if you need to not, you can just put that away and uh, shorten it by quite a bit. So my friends, thanks for watching uh, this unboxing assembly and review video. So this is what I'm talking about, like the cracks. So I know that's kind of, I like a solid, smooth surface. So, I mean, if you get food or something, there's not like a horrible thing to like, you know, super difficult to clean out, but sometimes you like, you know, wiping stuff down, gets in, in, the, in the crevices there. So that's why it's nice to have that like a tablecloth or a glass top or something like that on there. Well, friends, have a great day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hey friends, here is a table before and we got the plastic cover on there. Show you how it looks. So this is 80 by 40 when it's extended. Uh, it was nice, but it just has these like uh, deep edges or grooves kind of in the table there. So a lot of times when you're trying to clean off your table, it's real easy for food to get in there. So we got this uh, vinyl cover for it. I'm gonna be putting that on and see how well that works. All right, friends, well, here is the table. Finished it up and got it all set up. I think it looks really nice. We did go ahead and put a, like a tablecloth, like kind of a vinyl covering over this is clear, just to protect the table and keep stuff from going down in the cracks here. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. This table is actually super solid. I mean, it doesn't rock at all, it's really, really burly so we like that um, i like how easy it is to change this in and out just by switching those you can make your table smaller well, the chairs are actually quite sturdy and comfortable so all in all uh so far we are really happy with this um yeah you can see how burly those uh legs are on there and like i said it doesn't rock at all it's like really stable so uh, i'm really happy with that um some tables you get, they're not very solid, and just bumping your table is gonna move your, spill your drink or something like that, but these aren't that the case here. They come with little sliders here on the bottom of the chairs. We have concrete floors. Um, they slide really well. They make a little bit of noise, but um, I like the plastic ones better than the felt ones. The felt ones seem to come off, so all in all, we are very happy with this. Thanks for watching.